When visitors enter the Pulitzer for this rather unusual presentation of 17th and 18th century art, they'll come into a gallery without light, uh, as Matthias had pointed out, that will already be surprising. But the reason for that is because the work they'll be looking at, three paintings that were made in Naples in the uh, first half of the 17th century, were predicated on the artist's ability to render forms, visual forms, and to make them appear as if they had physicality, as if they existed in the space of the viewer. These artists used a very dark ground. That means that they, the first thing they put on the canvas after they smoothed it out was a kind of dark paint. And then they built up highlights from there. So the skin tones, the parts of the bodies that they were representing, were made by the addition of a lighter paint onto this dark ground. So they're trying to create this sense of these three-dimensional bodies emerging out of a kind of shadowy interior. Now, when you light the whole painting, you appreciate all the brush strokes, the beauty of the color, all the artists were able to do. But when these artists were attempting to create a sense of a three-dimensional form, to create a real physicality of the figures in the works of art they were making. So when you reduce the light and you only have a very little light, it picks up better on the brights, the areas of what we would call highlight, and makes you aware of the physicality, the three-dimensionality of the figure emerging out of the shadows. These artists were seeking a style. This is the period where they're developing a style that we call Baroque. It's a style that's dynamic. It involves movement. It has real punch. And when you're able to feel these figures in their full physicality in the pictures, it's as if there's a continuity between the space of the painting and the space of you, the viewer. And that, particularly for religious paintings, and all of these, well, uh, are religious paintings, one Old Testament subject and two saints, Saint Sebastian, uh, Saint Mary Magdalene. When they're religious uh, themes, this is really important because it allows the painting to have much greater impact. You empathize. Mary Magdalene was the quintessential sinner. Uh, she was so important in the 17th century because it emphasized the idea that anybody who sins can be redeemed. So how much more effective it is when you go into the presence of Mary Magdalene and she is there in the same space you are, you can be like her, not only in her physicality, but in the fact that she has redeemed herself of her sins. So this style that becomes very important for the 17th century is predicated on the ability to create through the application of light paint on a dark background uh, a sense of the three-dimensionality and physical presence of the figures within the paintings.